What is a hang drum? In this video, I want to give you a quick rundown of what it is, where it came from, and why so many people want it. No, it's not a flying saucer. The hang drum, or hong, is a percussive musical instrument played by the hands. The hang drum originates from Bern, Switzerland in the year 2000 from a company called Panart. And just as a quick aside, the term hang drum is actually kind of incorrect. The instrument is called the hong, spelled H-A-N-G, and the hong was made by Panart. Unfortunately, hong is a registered trademark, so we can't use it as a generic term to describe these instruments. Just like Kleenex refers to facial tissue, it's the same difference. So instead of calling it a hang drum, we like to call them hand pans. Hand pan is generally the most widely accepted generic term for these instruments. Other terms would include sound sculptures or pan tams but we'll get into that in maybe some other videos. So now that we have the proper terminology down, let's talk about the instrument itself. If you've seen a handpan before, I can probably guess where you've seen it, possibly on the street with a street musician, or perhaps you saw it on a viral YouTube video. I've seen plenty of handpan videos go viral because of how captivating the sound is. The handpan is made from two hemispherical shells of steel that have been glued together. On the top side, there are what we call tone fields. Each tone field, when struck by the hand, will produce a note. There's actually nothing inside of the handpan. All the sound that you hear is originating from those dents in that top shell. The central tone field is known as the ding. This is simply just some terminology that started from pan art and has continued to this day. The tone fields are arranged in a very standardized pattern on the top, zigzagging from the lowest notes to the highest notes. To play a note on the handpan, one simply strikes the tone field with a finger. There's really no right or wrong way to do this. Basically, just don't play it too hard. If you flip the handpan over and look at the bottom shell, you'll notice a port in the instrument. That port is used for retuning. In order to retune the instrument, a handpan tuner must enter through the inside of the instrument to retune the notes. The port itself can also be tuned with some various harmonics. This allows for some fun percussive play on the bottom side of the instrument in addition to the top side. Some handpans even have tone fields on this bottom shell as well. The handpan has become so popular for a few main reasons. Number one, it just sounds really cool. Another reason the handpan is popular is because it's just easy to play. You actually don't have to be a musician to play these. Because the instrument doesn't have all the notes that a piano has, it's actually tuned in keys and in modes. Once you learn how to strike the handpan and get some basic rhythm down, playing the actual notes and making harmonious melodies is an absolute breeze. And that's why it's so popular. So some key takeaways from this video. Number one, it's not a hang drum, it's a hand pan. The second takeaway is that hand pans are very easy to play, even for a non-musician. This makes sharing the gift of music so much easier. Hopefully this video answered any questions you may have had about these amazing instruments. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And until next time, I'm Sean Beaver with Symphonic Steel, and I look forward to seeing you in our next videos.